Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos and what are they about? Well, Let's Build videos, I take a model kit and I'll show you how to put it together. If there's any errors of concern on the sprue, I, as in numbers are wronged, name numbers on the sprue are different to what the instructions say, I'll let you guys know. If there's any bits on the sprue that need careful attention when taking it off, again, I'll let you guys know. If you're interested in a new army, or you have that army, but you're interested in certain models from that army, and you're not sure if they're difficult to build, or uh, I'm not, I haven't bought them because they, they look a bit hard, this is a visual way to help you guys out. For all my regulars here, guys, I put love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second. Right, so I thought I'd do something a little bit easy today. Um, I've gone to the Imperial Magazine, number 50. And that's what I'm gonna build. The Royal Court Expands, which is which comprises of a Scorpion Destroyer Lord, two of these um, kinetic thralls, a Plasmansa, and a kinetic reanimator. Now, off the bat straight away, you look at this model and you go, Wow, that's difficult. Oh no, that's very simple. That's the one of the simplest models I've put together. That and the Doomstalkers are the most simplest models I've built so far. So, as always, tools needed. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of blade. If you do, be careful because it's sharp. And just let everyone know if there's anyone in the house that you're using a blade so nobody scares you by accident. Clippers, most useful part of our, of our kit that we have. Now I do have, this is an old piece of sanding sponge, but sandy sponge, okay. That's what you know it looks like, that's my lovely texture there. This is all worn down. It's so basically sponge with sandpaper inside. So you can get into little bits. If there's um, chains and wires, it's not an issue. Or even after you've, the model's glued, you go, oh look, I missed that mold line there. Say that to it, give it a clean down. Now it's a plastic kit, so plastic glue. Now, to be honest with you, I do have super glue by um, stand by just in case. But to be honest with you, I wasn't going to do all of this, I was only going to do the reanimator. But you know, I'm looking and thinking, I might as well do the whole thing, I might as well just do the whole sprue and over and done with. So, I'm going to see if the stat lines are in this book, I don't, don't know if they are. But now I'll come back to you in a second. Right, unfortunately, the only one that's in this book is the re reanimator, the kinetic reanimator. But it's still, it's movement of eight, force to hit and come back, force to hit from shooting, strength five, toughness five, six wounds, which is quite nice, four attacks, leisure ten, and I'm a saver three plus. Now it comes with two atomizer beams and reanimator claws. And as a beam is a 12 inch range, assault three, so there's six dice basically because there's two of them, strength six. So it is actually quite tasty. Space means a toughness four, so it is quite tasty. Um, AP minus two, again, space means armor save is three plus, so that give them a five up armor save. Space means against this, but it's only one damage a piece. The animator's claws uh, is. Strength of the user is strength 5, still quite tasty. Minus 2 AP and 1 damage piece. He has 4 attacks, so that'd be 4 of those, not too bad. He has living metal. Now, what that does is at the beginning of your command phase, if he's taking a wound, he regenerates one wound. He has command protocols as well, like everything else in the Economy. He explodes when he's destroyed on a D6 roll of a 6, he explodes. Any and each unit within three inches suffers one mortal wound, and he has the nano scarab reanimation beam, which is an aura effect. It's basically if you you pick within your command phase, you pick one friendly unit within six inches, and visible to him, until the start of your next command phase. While that unit is within six inches and visible to this model, the unit being healed by this reanimation beam. Uh, while while it's being healed by reanimation beam, sorry. Add one to reanimation protocol rolls made for this unit. 
there each unit can only be healed by one reanimation beam at a time it's, it's still quite a tasty mod i should have actually took that in the last game they played but i didn't so i don't know why but anyway let's start with these bad boys oh i remember this guy <laughs> i remember the joys of putting this one together right, so as usual guys the first thing we're actually going to do Get the sprue out and we are going to actually have a look at the sprue this is where everyone has to know we're going to look at the sprue and see what we can ascertain so that it makes things easier for ourselves you know straight away there's a kinetic reanimator legs and body part that's all one piece yeah there is it's called picture for lord arm plasma arm so picture for lord body Body, it's gun arm, there's a plasma server arm, connected reanimated body. Now I know this because I've, I've built these guys already. But this, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a cop out on this one actually because I, I know all the parts, where the parts are, but if it was a like space marine, you'd go like arms, heads, legs, shoulders, weapon. Okay, so the first bits that we need. Now this is on the, the sprue from the Imperial magazine. I would imagine if you bought the um, Royal Court box from uh, Games Workshop, I would imagine this is how the sprue comes because all of these models are part of that call. There are more that go with it, I think, some overlords and stuff, but um, I'd imagine this is how the sprue comes. If it doesn't and someone's bought it, it doesn't come like this, let me know. And I'll pass it on to everyone else, but as far as I know, this is how it would come to you. Right, so the first two pieces that we need are number 27, which is this piece, and number 28, which is this piece next to it. I'm going to snip them off, clean them down, and then I'll come back and show you how they go together. Right, it's very straightforward. There's a hole there, there's a pin, that just goes in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place and then come back for the next piece. My right, next two pieces needed are 25 and 24. Now 24 just sits on the end here. Okay, there is two holes and there's two hole, uh, two pins there, pins there that goes on top of there. So I'm going to take them both off, clean them down, I'm going to glue that strand to there and I'll come back to, to you for the next pieces. Right, so the next ones we need are number 19, which is this body part here, yeah? Number 22, which is one next to him. Number 23, which is this spinal piece. And number 21, which is this piece here. So I'm going to snip those all off, clean them all down, and then come, come to you and show you how they all go together. All right, so I'm going to make you aware of this. When you're taking off the sprue, that part is the model. That little knobble bit is the model as well. So you need to keep that. Just come in. So it looks like that. Okay. So if I'd show you that with you before I get carried away. Right, this is a very, very simple model. I'm pretty much gonna do it all in front of you right now. Okay. So this is the body part. Take this is literally all push fit together, but we're gonna glue it in anyway. So you take the spine. The spine literally goes all the way around. Goes in there like that. Okay, so the big big one goes in there. Okay. I'm gonna show you so that's where the head goes on that little the little bit there. Don't mind that piece there. So, so I took the sprue off and just left a bit of crap on it. Now we take this leg that has the rocks on it. Now you want to keep these little bits on because they're so handy. Take this leg and it goes in there like that. Okay. So there's a hole and a pin. It literally just goes in there like that. And then the other one, there's a little tiny bit of rock on it. It goes in the other side like so. Yeah. 
that is how straightforward it is. So I'm going to glue those pieces into place and then I'll come back to you for the next piece. Right, the next bit is his gun arm. So this little pin here goes in the top here. This is a, this is a, not fiddly, but it's just a little, you have to work it a little bit. So that goes in there. And then, doesn't want to do it now, does it? Of course it doesn't. And what happens is these two wires then go into there. Okay. So I'm going to glue that into place and then come back to the next piece. Right, the next one is the same thing again, but the other arm. So that goes in there. And then these wires connect into the, the back there. Okay. So the wires go into there. I'm going to glue it into place and i come back for the next piece. The next piece we need is number 26, which is this piece here. So I'm going to snip it, clean it, and I'll show you where it goes. Right, so this one, this big pin goes into this hole here. Yeah. Now this top bit here, for the first time I'm in, there's a little, just a little groove there. There's a little groove in this that just slots in there like so okay but don't worry if it doesn't look in there perfectly because there's a cover that goes over the top of there so I'm going to glue this into place and then come back for the next piece right so the next two pieces we need are number 20 which is this leg and number 29 which is his front body part I'm going to snip them clean them and show you how they go on Right, so this next bit is so straightforward. There's a big hole and there's a pin. The pin, yeah, the pin goes in there and the big, the big one goes over the hole, like so. And you see the balls on top with shoulders? When that goes in, they, they should connect in like that. There we go. And the other leg, pin goes in the hole at the back there okay nice and straightforward so I'm going to glue them into place and I'll come back and show you how to glue it to the base so I'm going to, don't show me how to glue it to the base okay I, I give you a quick heads up because you might have to fiddle with it right so I've put glue on the flat pieces and on the sides of each of those and this is the way you do it so you line them line them up and that's not the right way there is a certain way that they go in there we go that's the one so we have it like that and then what we do is get one push it in next one push it in last one push it in yeah now there might be a, a point where it's slightly off. That's why you do it when it's still wet. So you can just jiggle it a little bit. The only thing we need to do now is get his head. And we need number, number 30 for that. Where did I see you? Oh, there we go. This is the find the head game. There he is. Number 30. So I'm going to snip that, clean that, and it's pretty self explanatory where it goes on. So I'm going to clip it, clean it, glue it on, and that's him done. And then we'll move on to the next guy. So on to the plasmancer now. <coughs> First piece we need is going to be number four, which is this piece here. Okay. And number one, which is this piece here. Okay, so I'm going to stick those two pieces down, clean them down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, so I've cleaned those down, ready to go. But the other piece we need is number two, which is this little piece here. So I'm going to stick that and clean that, and then I'll show you how the three pieces go together. Right, so it's very really straightforward. First thing we do is put a little bit of glue on the, the little pin on the back here. It wants to come out, of course it doesn't. It just doesn't want to come out. Yep. 
I saw this out like I met you. So I put a bit of glue on that little pin at the back there. And you take this number two, and it just slides in there. So it looks like that. Okay. Now what we do, take a, this arm, this is number four, put a little bit of glue on this pin here. Very little glue left in this bowl. I dry fit this and it's difficult to get out, so now once it goes in, it's going to stay in. That just slides into the hole there. Okay, a little hole, that just slides in, just push it in. Nice and easy. The next piece that we need is number three, which is his staff arm. Yeah, and number five, which is this lovely piece here. Okay, so I'm going to snip those, clean those, and then I'll um, get back to you then. Right, so when taking this piece off the sprue, be careful because these are not very, you know, they do, they are not flimsy, but they are just bits that you have to be careful of. And when you're cleaning it down, be careful as well. Now, there's a little hole in the back there, there's a hole here. That literally just slots on there like that. So what you're left with then, in between that, that's where his head goes, in between that. So that glues in there. This arm glues this pin straight into there with the other pin. So I'm going to glue those two pieces on. I'll come back down for his head. And before we come on the head, this is a bit that you need to sort out first. So you see that little groove there? I've got some glue in it, this starts in there like that. And that gives him his standing position on his base. Okay. The arms in, these headdress things in, and that's how it should look. Okay. So the head is number six. It's a long bearded head. Where is his little head? Trying to find his head so difficult. There it is. <laughs> Buried halfway in. Now the bottom here, yeah, that's where you clip it. Because there's a long bit that hangs down. So I'm going to clip that off. It's self-explanatory where it goes. And then a little pin sticking out between the headdress. And then there's a little piece on the base. It goes on a 32mm base. Through one hole. That slots in. So I'm going to clip that. Clean that. Glue that. Glue him to the base. And I'll come back for the next guys then. Right, so the next pieces we need. Number 11. For the next model. Which is this piece here. Number 10. Which is this piece here. We need... Number nine, which is this leg here, yeah. We need number eight, which is this leg over this side, and we need number seven, which is this. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is start with is number seven, number 10, and number 11. I'm going to snip those all off, clean those down, and I'll show you how they go together, and then I'll come back and we'll do the legs. Right, this is very easy. So, it goes like this. This is number 10, the pin goes in that side there, okay, let me get some glue on it, I'll get that, get that glued into place. So that goes in there, like so. Took a bit of glue in this side of the hole because the other pin just goes in there and lines up with it. So it goes in there like so. Okay, now we're going to go for the, the legs. Let's 
into the line up. There seems to be a colour on the bottom there. I don't know why it's not going in. And if I do it off camera, because that should line up to there. It means it hasn't gone in enough. This is what we do then. We do off camera, do it now. So my clippers, I'm going to clip a little bit off the end. Okay. Just drive a bit of glue onto it. The glue I put on is only on the tip of it. Now when I line this up, as we go in a bit further, there we go, perfect. Okay, this is what I'm going to do actually. Keep it simple. I'm going to drop a bit of glue into there, to the collar. Where that should line up, and I'm going to hold it in place. So, I'm going to go camera and do that. I'll show you the next part then. Right, so the next two pieces we need is number nine, which is this leg here, yeah, and number eight. Now, a little novel bit on the bottom of his foot, you need that, so keep that on there. So, I'm going to clip these, clean these, and show you how they go on. Right, this is so easy. So, these holes at the bottom here. This piece at the bottom has two holes either side. So the legs just slide into there. Okay, the other one goes the other side. Now once we glue these in, what we're going to do then, we're going to glue them straight into the base. The reason why is this little, this little piece slots into there as normal. But if we're slightly off, because it's plastic glue, we can adjust it a little bit and get it in. I'm going to glue those into place and glue them into the base and then come back for the head. Oh, I forgot about these guys. When you're putting this together, I I'll put the arms in first and then the legs, yeah? You want to put the legs in first because they're a pain in the hole to get in. Let's get the legs in first and glue them into the base then glue the, the arms on. So for this one, we need head number 12, which is this little bad boy down here. So I'm going to snip it, clean it, and it's pretty self-explanatory. There it goes, we glue it into place. Again, there's that one hole on the back, and there's one big pin. So I'm glue it into place, and we'll come back for the next the next part of the next one. So we will start with the second one now. We need number 13, which is this piece here. It's the exact same body as the other one, but we're going to, we need number 15 leg, and number 14 leg, now I'm going to clip them, clean them, and I'm going to put legs on first and glue them straight to the base. So you'll see the, it'll be a bit of a different, but you'll see it. And this is the way to do them. Again, this is where the legs go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue in there. I'm going to put legs in first. They are very tight fit. As it goes in, it goes in. This is a pain in the back side to get in. Drop a little bit in this side just, just to make sure there's enough in there. Well, I'm going to glue along the little wedge that goes in the base. soles of the feet so I line it up so it sort of slides in a bit hang on it push it down now you can see the other foot isn't touching the baseball piece and now I've got time to maneuver it Last thing I do, of any model I do this, it goes into base. 
I want a little bit of glue along the edge of where it touches the base just to give it a little bit more stability, a little bit more stronger. So there's that. It's very simple. It's actually a lot easier than doing it the other way. Next pieces we need are number 16. The other piece of that which is number 17. They're self-explanatory. I'm not going to show you how they go on because I've already done that. And number 18, which is the head again, is, you know, I'll show you where it goes. So I'm going to sit those three pieces off, clean them down, glue them on, and we'll come back for the, the Kinetic Reanimator. Now it's time for the Kinetic Reanimator. Now, when I first um, built this model from the Indominus box, I looked at it and I was like, what in the blue blazing? Because there's a lot of bits here that looks complicated, looks very complicated, but I can assure you this is the easiest. This is the, this is the model that I built from the Indominus box, and I was like, "Well, that's really easy." I looked at the Scorpion destroyers, and I was like, "They look very difficult." As soon as I started putting them together, I was like, "Oh, well, that's very easy." Apart from there's a few things on the Scorpion destroyers where you have to come in a certain angle, but hopefully, I'll get them on the channel soon, and I can show you because I built ones from Indominus box, and I built the ones from the Imperial magazine before I started doing less builds. So unfortunately, they were really built, but. And get a command box and just they're in there so it's nice and easy right the first piece we need is number 31 which is this crazy ass looking piece and number 32 which is this crazy little piece i'm going to snip them clean them and show you how they go together right this is so easy there's two pins there's two holes they just go in there like I'm going to push them in, but they go in like that. And you push it together. So I'm going to put some glue into there. And I'm going to unglue along that edge as well. Okay, this little edge here. Okay. Along this little bit. This raised area. Just inside there. So when it goes together, it seals it. And so the next two pieces we need number 35 which is this crazy ass piece and number 33 which is a crazy ass piece now when you're clipping this down there are a lot of points of contact so don't try and force it away from the sprue clip them all off first and it should come out and that's both of them now they both have these are not sticking out okay yeah he has one as well so just leave them on there i'm going to clip them clean them show you how they go on Right, here's an area of concern. I'll show you what I mean. I was slipping the other one off and I forgot about it. Look. Of course, he doesn't want to focus in. Yeah. So I'm going to have to drop a bit of glue into that and just push it back up and let it set. Just be careful with that. So, what I've done on this one, I've clipped everything else off. I've clipped this one here. Now I'm going to clip this little piece here. I'm going to do that one. This is the one I haven't done. Okay, so I'm going to clip this one. And now, so come away quite nicely. Let's make sure that I've got I've got everything right. Yep. Still connected there a little bit. There we go. So this one's going to be cleaned down. This one will get cleaned down, but after I've re-glued that and repaired that. Right, so this is very straightforward. So there is two holes there, the two clips, the two pins outside. There's a pin here, goes on top there. So it basically lines up like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue this one in. The other one is the one that was broken, so I'm going to glue that in afterwards. And if I break it, I break it. I don't want to, but I'd rather break it off camera in case I slip out a bad word. Anyway, I'm going to glue those into place, and then I'll come back and show you what's next. Right, I did it without breaking that piece, you can see that brake line. Once, there's, once that glue's dry and there's been undercoated, it's not, you're not going to see that at all. So this is what we have now. So the next pieces that are needed are 
everything else. So number 37, which is this big dreadnought hand, the two dorsal fins, or color paste fins, whatever you want to call them, and number 38, which is his head, his face, his eye. So I'm going to snip those all off, clean those down, and I'm going to show you how they go onto the model. I'm going to do all this in one go. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue them into the base. So what I've done is you see the holes. I've just lined them up roughly to where they go so I know that I've got them in the right place. Then, put some glue on the flat pieces. And around the edge of that. Around the edge of this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roughly line it up again. We get one in, then the other one. I'm going to go this one first because it's got a nice flat piece. Hey. So that brings that in. And then this one. So now that all three of those pieces are in, look at that. So that piece there, that shouldn't be there. It's a bit of sprue that I missed. Damn it. But that's not an issue because what we do, we run the glue around anyway. The seal. I'll just put a bit of glue there to sit on there. Just makes it look like it's a bit more rubber on the ground. Unfortunately, it's not what I wanted. Right, so now the glue's little head on, his little eye, it goes on this big bit here, there's a hole in it, and the two bits are the top bits. So you literally just push into place like that. Now, this power fist, there's a big hole, there's a big pin, that's where that goes. So I'm gonna drop a bit of glue onto that. Along the edge of that, because I'm sure it's over the top. Again, because it's touching the base, I'm gonna see that along the bottom there. Now these dorsal fins are not difficult, but they're a pain. There's two holes, there's two pins. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue them on off camera because of the broken piece, which shouldn't be broken now, but I'm gluing them together off camera and come back to you for final bits. All right, so that's how you build the Royal Court. Now I believe if you buy the box from GW, I believe it comes with a Royal Warden and a Overlord, I think. Um, yeah, sorry, as I was saying before, the van came in. Um, if you bought it from GW, it would be, I'm sure you get a Royal Warden with it and an Overlord. If there's any more models that come with it, someone check on below, let me know. But I think that's what it comes with it. Now, um, I've done the Royal Warden and I've done the Overlord on less builds before. I'm sure I have. Um, way back at the beginning because I think in the Imperial Magazine the Overlord comes pretty early on and I've already done the one from Indominus um, you know before I even started filming those builds <laughs> two other things I'm going to say these guys have all been painted on camera before but they weren't painted individually they were painted as part of a 24 hour or 12 hour paint change wherever it was so if you guys want to see me put, start putting these guys in for the vote, okay, chuck on below and let me know, and I'll start doing that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel out in a massive, massive way and turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. But as you can see, you know, it's always different things I'm trying to do here, trying to keep things fresh and, and different for you guys. 
Um, everyone smash the thumbs up button on this video so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people and make this lovely you know community grow that we're building here. For everyone, all my regulars that watch every single video and that, that always you know comment and everything else, guys, I feel, feel your love. Thank you very much. It means a hell of a lot to me. I'm going to bring you down, show you some pretty pictures. Until next time, guys. Take it easy.